Resistors are passive components in electrical circuits designed to oppose the flow of electric current. Their main functions include controlling and limiting electric current, creating voltage drops, and converting electrical energy into heat. This ability is characterized by a property known as resistance. Opposition offered by a material to the flow of electric current is called resistance. On an atomic level, resistance arises from the collisions between electrons and atoms within the material. As electrons move through a conductor, they encounter various obstacles like impurities, defects in the crystal lattice, and the atoms themselves. Each collision causes a loss of energy, contributing to the overall resistance of the material. Factors such as temperature, impurities, and the material's crystal structure influence the frequency and intensity of these collisions, thereby affecting resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms, where one ohm represents the resistance of a material that requires one volt to pass one ampere of current. A higher resistance means more voltage is needed to allow the same current to flow. Generally, the larger the conductor, the lower its resistance, allowing more current to flow, similar to how a wider pipe offers less resistance and permits more water to flow. Conversely, a smaller conductor has higher resistance and allows less current to pass, much like a narrow pipe, restricting the flow. A material that offers zero resistance is known as a superconductor. Conductive materials like copper and silver contain free electrons that can move easily from atom to atom, facilitating the smooth flow of electricity. These materials have very low resistance and are classified as conductors. In contrast, materials like rubber and plastic lack free electrons, offering high resistance to the flow of charges, these are known as insulators. A resistor maintains the same resistance value whether it is in a DC or AC circuit, and has a wide range of applications in electronics, including heat dissipation, voltage division, and current control. For example, heating elements in devices like heaters and irons are made from nichrome, which has a specific resistance based on its size. As current passes through the element, the collisions between electrons and atoms release energy in the form of heat. To control current and voltage across a load, a resistor is connected in series. The resistor limits current, causing a buildup of negative charges on one side and fewer charges on the other, creating a potential difference or voltage. The larger the resistor, the more it obstructs electron flow, leading to a larger voltage drop. The voltage drop is a portion of the applied voltage, and by adjusting the resistor's value, the desired voltage can be achieved across the load. A resistor consists of three basic components, the core material, terminals, and encapsulation. Resistors are classified based on their construction, material type, and resistance value. The most common types include fixed resistors, variable resistors, and special resistors. Carbon film resistors and metal film resistors are types of fixed resistors that offer precise resistance values and excellent temperature stability. These resistors are made by depositing a thin layer of carbon or metal onto a ceramic substrate. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about resistors and how they work. For related videos click the i button or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.